best compliment that I get when people see it is I've never seen anything like this. Oh, this is so cool. It's so different from anything. And that's really what I was approaching because I, you know, I did art, some art, art in school, and I did murals, and I did portraits, and I did paintings of all sorts. When you have that drive to create, it's there all the time. So when my kids were little, their rooms were covered in murals. My sisters and I sewed clothing and curtains and bedding and uh, everything was custom. We did murals for other people, but we did them for our own kids. And I'm resourceful. I never had a lot of money. When you have four kids, you don't. <laughs> and it's like you decorate your home, you decorate your kids' things, and then, uh, so it's the drive's still there, and when your kids don't need you as much anymore, it was just the perfect opportunity. It was like the perfect storm, them wanting the gallery together, and me having a little more free time. I've fused a few different interests. I used to make jewelry. I love to paint. I got into doing resin uh, about 14 years ago, using resin. So I'm kind of combining all of that. I did that giant puffer fish that is just a small amount of resin, but there's crystals in it, there's glass, there's gold leaf, there's plaster. I mean, I love um, experimenting with all the new things. You know, there's all these different stages of the artwork, so I can pick and choose. And sometimes I do not want to be leaning over the painting or stapling and gluing. I want to just paint. And that's, that's the one thing I think like all artists that paint, putting that first, you know, brush stroke on a canvas is so relaxing, therapeutic, it's so nice. And it, it was great through the years. It was very therapeutic, you know, raising the kids and then having a, a a son with special needs, you you need that therapy, you need that, that time. And I feel lucky because I have, you know, an array of things I can do. I can work in the glass, I can crush the glass, I can start a painting. I have, you know, all these options and um, I feel really blessed to, to be able to do that and I have a lot of materials. I didn't have that before, but that allows me to do just a painting. Sometimes I want to use a lot of materials. My last brush strokes are glass or fur or something like, like the last thing that I do. But um, it's true, I, sometimes it's the materials and sometimes it's just something in my head. You know, like I said, sometimes it's, it's the idea in my mind, oh, how would I do a pelican? You know, I could see it with all the mirrors and how would I do a sheep? I think there's a part of it that animals are, people love them and I also think that it's a subject matter that lends itself well to my technique. Just absolutely loved the great blue heron. It was like a pterodactyl flying through the sky. <laughs> so I, I always do herons. There's always a heron in my collection. If I sell a lot of herons, I'll make them more herons. So that's something that is close to my heart. But I realize a lot of people probably have the same experience. I think it's, it's twofold. I, either, I like them and I think, how could I, how would I do that? And I also, maybe sometimes I see some glass and I think, ooh, I could crush that up and make X, Y, Z out of them and, and uh, see what that turns out to be. I'm going to paint regardless. I was painting paintings and then painting over them <laughs> um, because I wanted to paint. Like any creative, you're just a fort.